Hey Buy Me A Coffee creators, welcome to the dashboard. This is the gateway to everything Buy Me A Coffee offers to monetize your audience. This platform is all about allowing your audience to support you as opposed to running a business gaining customers. So all the monetization techniques we'll talk about today can be mutually beneficial to both the creator and audience. And after covering the monetization techniques, we'll take a look at the published features, which can help you build a community on Buy Me A Coffee. Let's quickly mention the top two tabs of the dashboard before getting into the various monetization options. Home is a bird's eye view of activity on your page with your total earnings and earnings from each monetization technique at the very top. That's followed by a list of recent activity on your page. And at the very bottom, there's a few suggestions for ways to step up your presence on Buy Me a Coffee with additional content. The tab under home is view page, and it does exactly what you'd expect it to do by taking you to the public side of the dashboard, which is your creator profile. Getting into the important stuff, let's talk about donations. I said a bit ago, everything Buy Me A Coffee offers is mutually beneficial, and you may be wondering how a direct donation would be a part of that, but it is a rewarding process for a supporter to be able to see their investment in your work bring about improvement. This is also where Buy Me A Coffee gets its name from, since supporters donate money in increments of coffees, and it's just a way of keeping things casual and fun while still offering real-world support of your work online. Next, there's memberships. Think of this as an exclusive club with you, the creator, plus your most passionate audience members. You can set up different levels of membership with different prices, and audience members pay on a recurring basis to stay in the club. This isn't only about getting a membership status though, as you're encouraged to offer rewards that correspond to each membership tier. These can range from exclusive posts or behind the scenes content to digital products or merch. Memberships help you by making your earnings more predictable, and they help your audience feel more active and included in your community. Next, let's talk about the shop. This is a full featured online shop of products you offer as one-time purchases. You have full flexibility with the images, descriptions, and of course, prices. And so the products themselves could be anything that work with this one-time payment format. Think digital art, music albums, merchandise, guides, or eBooks. This monetization option is great because it's a very familiar format on both sides of the transaction. You offer something an audience member wants and they support you by buying it, just like you'd buy any product online. Next, let's cover the wish list. The concept here is pretty simple. You add items you'd like for your work online and your audience can chip in to crowdfund them. This is cool in its difference from donations because it shows your audience exactly what you're doing with their money. Generally speaking, that would be buying things to improve your online work like a camera, microphone, or computer. And again, similar to donations, the wish list allows your audience to invest in your work and see how it improves your online content. Last but not least, there's commissions. Think about this as putting yourself up for hire in your area of expertise. You add listings of services you can provide and audience members will be able to make an order and work with you directly to fulfill the service. This is really just the shop, but for services as opposed to products. And any service you could provide through one-on-one -on -one communication with the supporter would work here. This is good to have to round out Buy Me A Coffee's full suite of monetization options, selling services and products, offering memberships, and allowing direct donations to you or to specific tools you need. Beyond the monetization techniques offered on Buy Me A Coffee, there's tools for keeping your audience up to date. There's posts, gallery, and messages. You can use these to publish to the public for free or just for your paid supporters. And all this is right next door to the monetization options. So on the audience's side, it's as seamless as it gets to go from one of your posts to supporting you monetarily. Posts are mainly for text, but also offer flexibility with formatting, links, images, audio, and embedding web elements. This is a great way to keep your general audience or just supporters up to speed with updates, announcements, or product releases. The gallery is image focused and allows for posting pictures in a familiar grid format. This is great for, let's say, an artist that wants an Instagram-like view of their artwork or photos. And that collection of images could be for the public or just their supporters. And lastly, messages allow both private one-on-one -on -one communication with your supporters and broadcasting emails to the entirety of your audience. Think of that second feature as an email marketing platform like MailChimp, but just built in to buy me a coffee. Overall, these three published features are a streamlined way to put out content for the public or exclusively for your supporters or both. Once you get an appealing and personalized Buy Me A Coffee profile set up, you'll undoubtedly want to share it with people, so the buttons and graphics section here lets you create buttons or widgets to embed on your website. You can also create custom stream alerts and QR codes here, plus grab Buy Me A Coffee brand assets, GIFs, and stickers to really round out all the social media tools you'll need when working on Buy Me A Coffee. Last but not least, there's integrations for connecting Buy Me A Coffee to other third-party apps that'll enhance functionality, payouts for managing payments, 
and settings for customizing your experience with the platform. Overall, Buy Me A Coffee is a robust platform to monetize online content, and each technique we went over today is just the beginning of what you could do to earn more money and connect with your online audience. Buy Me A Coffee creators, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy using Buy Me A Coffee's various features and tools, and of course, good luck with all future creative pursuits.